What's up there guys, my name is Sakosha and welcome to another great video. So we've seen a couple of changes to Tarkov the last couple of weeks. Um, a couple of weeks back they removed all of the meta, high-end ammo to become available or pur purchasable from traders. And then a couple days back they changed their camera recoil and some things on the recoil on a lot of guns. So now we're all trying to figure out what will be the new meta or what guns can I use now? And I think there's a couple guns that will rise or become a lot more viable today. Not only because of the recoil changes, but also because of how available their ammo is. And one of the guns that you will really have to take a look at again, and I'm very happy with this because I always love the ASL and the VSS, but it's the VSS and the A as well. And why is that? Well, A, um, the VSS had a lot of recoil in the previous wipes. It shreds. The ammo strat does a lot of damage. SP6 is almost as good as BP. It can consistently two-tap in the thorax. Um, but also you can buy it. And that's, I think, very important here because you can get the ammo consistently. So if you look at SP6, uh, you can buy it from prepper level four. Uh, you have like 150 and it's like 1,000, 1,200 rubles around, which is definitely not cheap, but at least you can buy it every reset, right? Um, SPP, you can buy as well, but it's locked. It's cheaper than SP6, which is kind of interesting. You can buy less of it though. Uh, and SPP has a little recoil, 10 recoil versus SP6. Oh, also 10 recoil. So it's it, it might be even be worth to run SP6 later. SPP, uh, if you have it unlocked. Um, if you don't have it unlocked, you can buy SP5. SP5 works great too, especially right now, a little bit early wipe still. It will stretch through players still. It has a minus five recoil, so it's gonna help you a little bit with controlling the VSS or the ASL. Well. Um, and I think the only problem with these guns is the expensiveness and the availability of the 30 rounders, which you 100% need in my opinion. I don't play this gun with the 20 rounders. Um, and you can buy the uh, max straight up from uh, for 40k from Prepper, or you can do the barter, uh, which is Prepper level three, and then it's four pliers. So that's like, it's 40k ish sometimes these are a little bit cheaper so if you can buy these cheap from the market it's worth if not just buy at least three of them i, I don't really play uh, without and then it's not really that hard you can buy the mount from jaeger level 3 put a standard attachment on it you could go uh with the rk2 or rk1 if you want to but it will only make like one or two vertical difference and and you'll miss some and i normally just play it with the svd mount and the holo uh you can also put the okp on here so Let's take it in with the new recoil in a new raid and let's see how it goes. See you in Tarkov. But that, that trill, man, like nothing can win that, man. Like there's not a single older shooter game that can get me that adrenaline kick as winning a fight or winning a raid in Tarkov. Like there's nothing that comes close to it. And there's a lot of reasons for it. Of course, uh, one of them being that when you win something, it's actually worth something, right? Like, in a lot of other shooters, it's just a kill. And and it doesn't really matter. Like, you, you die, you, you press again, you queue up again. It's, it's nothing to be, like, looking to ride home about, I guess. But in Tarkov, if you make a kill, you get their shit. You're, you're gaining their loot, right? Like, you actually gain something of it. And if you lose, you lose your progress of that raid. Being it, like, whatever gear you have on or took in. Whatever quest you had on you. Get ready, like... I don't know, there's there's something on the line. And that makes Tarkov insanely fun. And then... Uh, what really draw me into Tarkov is that... I, I'm generally quite good at shooters, right? Like, my reactions are on point. My aiming is, is above average. But the first couple days or weeks I played Tarkov, I just kept dying and dying and dying. Like, it's such a hard learning curve game. Like, just just aim alone won't get you. Or, well, it, it will help you for damn fucking sure. But, like, knowing a lot about this game, the pathing, the maps, uh, where people go, how to do quests. Like, it's all so important. And, like, that makes it that you really have to put a lot of effort and time and practice in this game to to get better at it and that's also a huge draw for me yeah that's true as well man like you can play tarkov not not play tarkov for a couple weeks and it's already rough to get back in it i agree with that 
Um, on the other hand, stopping a bit with Tarkov can make it more enjoyable when you come back as well. Like if someone, if friends or streamers that I play with or, or, or talk with like are really getting fed up by the game, I sometimes just say to them like, yo, try to play something else for a couple weeks or even a wipe because you're getting too fed up, man. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, it is. Dark of is a lifestyle to some degree for sure. It's it's a great game that attracts you or doesn't attract you. you no, you, you you really can't. You you either play it's really rough to play Tarkov casually. Really rough. It's not made for people that play a couple raids a week. And and there's like extremes to it and some of us are those extremes and booster like you and me like we play this game excessively but even if you're not playing as as much as us like you still need a couple hours of progress or like a few raids a day or ex extensive hours just in general to, to get really good at it or to get a really high level to unlock the really meta guns right like otherwise you just get out guns outplayed out whatever like you need a couple hundred hours before this game gets to a point where you can win fights and raids consistently more or even just understand it fully and you need to have a certain mindset or enjoyment out of that rough period to get through it and then it only goes up in my opinion but that's also i think why a lot of people can't really get into it because they maybe only play a couple hours a week they're getting their ass kicked in every day and like after a couple of weeks they lose like that interest like their, their their interest span is just not there anymore because they can't get through that first bit that you need to get through with Tarkov to to get to the more enjoyable part yeah same 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 here man i was like i don't know Tarkov also was the first game i i, I always watched streamers like but more like the, the the bigger ones right and Tarkov was the first game where I really went into like different kind of streamers to find out like different kind of play styles, soak up information, like how do they do it? Oh, this guy streams on YouTube or makes YouTube videos. Maybe oh he streams. Let's let's check him out, right? Like yeah, s same here, man. I've been hooked for years, and now I stream myself even. Like I, I don't know, I would have never even fucking imagined that. If you would ask me five years back, like bro, you're gonna stream on Twitch, and I was like. <laughs> Are you fucking crazy, dude? <laughs> are you insane? What are you saying, dude? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I am. Um... Four years playing it, and only this past nine months because of work and stuff. Yeah, I get that. It's. I can speak from experience because I have. I still have a job next to this, but it's really hard to play this game extensively, and have a job at the same time. And obviously the job is more important, but I don't know, man. I I enjoy it. Like, what what can I say? Like, I can't think of doing something else. When I get off work and my girlfriend is not here, I I really don't know what I would do with all the fucking time. Otherwise, man, like I really don't. I don't, what are other people doing? <laughs> like, I have no clue what they're doing. <laughs> like, maybe this is a bad thing, but like, it's freaking true, man. Let's, let's shoot them, perhaps. Sometimes I skip it out. Yeah, I, I have like same for me, man. Like, if my friends want to chill, I'm gonna chill with my friends. And if my girlfriend 
um, is coming over. Uh, obviously, she's she's that. But even then, right? Like the whole community around Tarkov, like the discourse, the friends that you make. Uh, for me, like I, I I speak with them even if I'm not playing Tarkov, right? Like they send you screenshots, you talk with them through the discords. It's like it's like a community, man, that I've never experienced in this sense before. And I think that makes Tarkov a really fucking cool game. And I know there's other games that have that same thing. Like every every game where you have clan-based systems or team-based fights, like you can get those kind of communities and make those kind of friends. But Tarkov for me was the first one where I felt like hooked and in place, if that makes sense. And I meet like the same like-minded persons that I can level on, level with. Saw it grow from the start too. Yeah, that, that would have been insane. I, it, like, it's weird. I only joined like the Dutch communities. Maybe a year back or something. One and a half years back. Bro, I swear. I'm telling you, bro. Like, no one is coming fortress. Oh my god. Where did I get shot from? I live today my first 10 raids on Tarkov. It's hard but fun. Hey man, let's go man. Welcome in Tarkov. I saw tracers. What's that? Couldn't should probably the right side or the left side. I looked from coming from the right side. But hey, welcome man. If you have uh Ik ben Nederlands, zeker. But uh, we stream in Dutch. Or sorry, not in Dutch, we stream in English normally. But if you uh, if you wanna ask questions, there's a lot of people in chat as well from the Netherlands, so feel free to uh, speak in Dutch if you want to. Oh, there he's coming. No! That's a scav. My angle is just left, it's okay. Maar welkom man. Als je vragen hebt, ik ben een uh, BSG Sherpa voor Tarkov. Dus een soort van uh, affiliate teacher voor de game, voor Nederland. Uh, feel free uh, om vragen te stellen als je wil. And uh, yeah, there we go. I would, if anything, I would recommend that video. Like, where did we get shot from? And the guy's not pushing us. again that's from power I'm thinking like there somewhere. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. I saw him, I saw him, I saw him. Yeah. Oh man, oh, 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 oh.
two more. You almost hit your monitor. <laughs> What do we get here? Yeah. Good night, ma'am. Uh, what do you mean with movement is back? Exclamation mark, recoil. Chat, that's fucking go. That last guy was clueless. Hey, that's good progress, man. That's good fucking progress. Jeez. But yeah, basically, changes today, boys. Change vertical recoil. What exactly does recoil angle mean? Oh, hold on. That's a good question. I, I think it's basically the horizontal recoil bump. I think that's what they mean with it. But it's a... I don't know. It's, a, it's hard to, to really say what they mean with it. Because it's not something that we know, right? There's more. You don't like keep permission yet? Yes. But I miss I miss the Kofums. Max fence wrap, you need two fence wrap. What's up, Mel? Good evening. tables have turned oh, ball as well yeah we're fighting like we killed three players fighting like the last one
Let's fucking go. Uh, we're max metabolism already. Hey, yo. Hey, is Val working, bro? GG, bro. Killed me and my trio and strip hub. Oh, no. Bro. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Texas. <laughs> oh, rip, dude. I need the kills in capturing outpost, boys. I'm so sorry, GG's. Uh, we need a drink. Okay, so also has a box from fixing it. We need we need drink. Have we check the box on top. I think we have not check the box on top. I'll I'll drop. I'll tell you what, Texas. I'll drop this shit. Of the people that you were trying to help getting the pocket watch, so they get their shit back. Uh, granted, we can find food and drink here. Give me RD, R in it. I appreciate it. Oh, it wasn't RD. Was that you, the first guy I bought then? But you went in first here, this side. GG's. Is there more? Oh man, that's a juicy looking. That's why the guy was so clueless in the corner. Yeah, the guy in the clue. Like, we were saying in chat, man. Like, oh no, this guy looks like he's lost, man. Oh, level five. Oh no, dude. We hold on. Hold, 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 hold. hold. I heard, I heard someone ADSing. And it wasn't me. You rage quit? Oh no, dude. <laughs> Where's this guy, dude? All you do is proper noob. Hey, I appreciate your helping, man. As a stripper, I approve. Time to do some raids, doing setup, catch you later. Yo, thank you for uh, for helping in, Ashtray. Good luck on your raids, my man. Is there one in here? Bro, I swear I heard an ADS, man. There he is. Mr. Texas, I'm gonna take you RD and take the money. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll drop your armor. I appreciate it, man. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> hey, man. Ace Valid did really well this rate. You play it up close, it's drooling, doing really fucking well. It's still not gonna be good at distance, but like CQB... It's, it's strats, man. Like, the hip fire is good. MP7 slaps too? Oh yeah, for sure, man. 100%. MP7, SR2... Like, the SMG meta is back a little bit, man. Like, it's viable again to run those guns. Oh. I think we kill him.
Alrighty, good, good freaking raid, boys. Good freaking raid. That was so much progress towards capturing outposts. I'm super happy with that. Let's fucking go. 10k XP, by the way, yep. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, boys. Oh my, look at the headshots, dude. Holy shit, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize it was all headshots, man. That's how good it looks. Let's fucking go, boys.